Hi guys and welcome back to this game! Today we are playing Stray Souls. I have to be honest with you guys, I recorded quite a bit of the game until I realized that I had my reverb plugin from singing on stream still on. So I'm gonna restart the game now, hopefully without any audio issues or other issues. I had struggles with the game anyways because I was stuck a lot and I felt like the instructions in the game there were not really intuitive. So I had to look up a few things because I got stuck. I figured I wanted to give the game a chance. I wanted to finish it. I'm not a quitter. So here we are. Let me just quickly read you a description of the game so you know what's awaiting us. Unlock the secrets hidden within the haunted town of Aspen Falls, featuring gruesome enemy encounters, epic bosses, cunning puzzles, and a deep story where not everyone is who they seem. Play as Daniel, an average teenager whose life is forever changed after inheriting the home of his estranged grandmother and meeting a mysterious woman with intimate knowledge about his family, the house, and its shocking connection to his past. The gameplay elements inspired by classic horror combat with souls-like precision put a fresh spin on the modern action horror genre. Because I've played a bit of the game already, it says continue, but we're gonna start fresh. Let's go. Starting with a very dirty, half-naked guy uh, in the bathroom. Lots of beer. Uh, he looks pretty disgusting, man. What the actual fuck? Ew, man. It's so disgusting. <laughs> And he's hearing strange sounds. Is that a shotgun? Hands. She cooking hands. Creepy laughter. What the heck? Hi. Hello. The facial expressions are so creepy, the face movements. Don't kill the plushie! It's innocent! It didn't do nothing! 18 years later. Oh, it's getting late. Nobody's gonna swipe right in me anyways. I should probably clean up the mess downstairs before I crash for the night. Alright, here we go. Press tap to check your current objective. Current objective is go downstairs and clean up the mess. All right, there's lots of mess up here already. So let's do the thing. Let's go down. <gasps> oh, there's a puppy. Feeling all right, Klopshik? Klopshik. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Just you want a good boy. Just you. Very good boy. Aw. And he's sleeping. <laughs> he's snoring. Very pup like. And very pug like. Damn, <laughs> that's a big snore. Alright. Um, find a container for your dirty clothes. Alright. I should finish cleaning before I go back upstairs. From the lawyer Alex Pierce to Mr. Daniel, allow me to be the first to welcome you to your new home. I wanted to inform you of a new 
of a few things to keep in mind as you settle in. I took the liberty of bringing in a cleaning crew to take care of packing up all of your grandmother's personal items and giving the house a quick dusting. All of her things were boxed up and moved to the attic for you to go through at your leisure. As you can see, all of her furniture was left in place so that you could avoid having to purchase all new things right away before moving in. A few of the rooms were locked, so the cleaners couldn't make it in here, in there, and I do apologize for that. Not sure where the keys are either, but I'm guessing they accidentally got thrown in a box of the, her things. I hope nothing gives you too much trouble, and please don't hesitate to call me if you need the cleaning crew to come back once you've had a chance to look through them. I can't read today, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoy your new home. Kindest regards, Alex Pierce, attorney at law. All right. Oh, I need to find a container for this. Okay, sir. How about this one? Is that a massive turd in the toilet? Yup, yup, guys. Here, look at it in all its splendor. A massive, massive turd. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh my god. No wonder no one is gonna swipe right on you, sir. Still can't believe some old lady I never met just left me this house. <laughs> Talk about winning the lottery. I didn't even Yay. know I was playing. The guitar music is good, though. I like that. More no messy. girl is gonna date me with a house this messy. Yeah. And no girl is ever gonna date you with a massive turd in your toilet. You need to flush, sir. It's disgusting. Jesus, I made a damn mess. What is, what is this? Socks? And oh my god, I love the fluffy shoes. <laughs> it's this kind of season, you know. What is all this on the floor? I'm not talking about the socks, I mean... It looks like little splinters of wood or something. I don't know. Things to do. Unpack computer and game console, that's priorities. Yes, that's a game of boy, all right? Grocery shopping, Can call folks once settled. Finish a profile on dating website. Go through boxes in the attic. Find keys to lock doors, laundry, bathe, clopsick. Boy, stinky. <laughs> that's cute. Stinky boy. Klopsik. That sounds very, I don't know, Eastern European. I wonder what that means. Maybe it has a meaning. Maybe, maybe he has no meaning. I don't know. What the heck was that? <laughs> One of the- SHIT! <laughs> JESUS! Oh! If I need to turn the volume down, I'm gonna get a noise complaint. What was that? Go to your computer and check the notifications. That was from the computer? It sounded like a phone. But I kind of dig that he's a computer guy, not a phone guy. Computers! Yay! I still can't type properly on the phone. Man, this house is a mess. Look at the tapestry and this closet thingy here. It's just completely broken. <laughs> wow. Alright. Huh, would you look at that? I guess someone liked what they saw. Oh, oh, interact, okay. Damn, scared me half to death. Who, me? I know I'm no looker, but I didn't think I was that ugly. I was cleaning up the house, didn't mute my monitor, and the notification made me jump. You have no idea how loud I had it turned up. Wait, what do you mean? I mean that I have the volume turned up to max on my monitor. Oh, so that's what what So that's what that was. You heard that? How? Yeah, I heard it. Took me by surprise, too. You literally would have to be- hold on a sec. Oh wow, the app says you're less than a mile away, but you'd literally have to be next door to have heard that. Where do you live? I live in River Lake. Uh, I live there too. Haha, <laughs> well, what do you know? We're probably neighbors. I wonder if you can see my house from your window. Maybe. Want me to look? Yeah, I'll flash my room lights. Okay, do it. I'm gonna look. Uh, 
That's literally neighbors. No fucking way. I can see your light. How close am I? You're literally next door. Oh, well, that's weird. You're telling me. What are the odds of that? Oh, well, I guess you just bought a house? I didn't buy the house. I inherited it from my grandmother when she died. I just got the keys yesterday morning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Were you too close? I didn't know that she even existed until a week ago when a lawyer got in touch with me to tell me she had died and left me the house. Ouch, that sucks. Not really. I was adopted when I was like a year old, so yeah. Not exactly a lot of info to go on, but hey, free house. That must have been awful, growing up without knowing your real family. It was alright. I had my adoptive family and they were pretty great. Well, that's good. Kinda glad it's you living here and not her anymore. She was a weird one. Why was she weird? She was just super creepy. There were always these shady looking people coming and going from the house late at night. They would come to the house and pray? Chant? Ritualize? I don't know. It made sleeping really difficult. Grandma was an occultist? Dope. Dope. Uh, not my first choice of words, but whatever floats your boat. It's intriguing to hear about someone I never knew being involved in some worship the devil type stuff. I don't know what they were doing, but the noises coming from that house were definitely not some retired old lady watching murder she wrote with the volume cranked up. I don't know. Old people do weird things. So why do you know so much about my grandma? You know, besides the fact that you live next door? Oh, I snuck in there with a friend on a dare a few years ago. Place looked normal, at least. The rooms I was able to get into. Oh yeah? Is breaking and entering one of your hobbies? <laughs> Good point. Not exactly, but seriously, you haven't seen anything weird while moving your stuff in? There's a few rooms that are locked and I haven't found the keys for them yet. The lawyer who handled the will said that some of her stuff got moved to the attic, so they're probably in a box somewhere. I'll figure it out tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go to bed. Really? Now? Aren't you at least a little curious? I know I am. Not really, to be honest. Too tired. Aw, oh, you suck. Fine. Get some sleep, but check out those locked rooms and let me know, okay? The suspense is killing me. We'll see. I'm seriously going to bed now. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Alright. <laughs> Online dating is so overrated. He just put his... there's no time like the present. He just put his hand... He those rooms are in the boxes of her <laughs> stuff in the attic. Through his nose. Explore the attic. He literally put his hand through his nose. In his face. How did he do that? Oh man, he's a slow walker, that's for sure. Alright, what are we gonna do here? I don't need to worry about it right now. Okay. Was a beloved member of the community. She was heavily involved in the local food bank, animal shelter, and the community garden. She was the last surviving member of her family. Can we talk about my grandma? Because she was not. I'm living proof of that. As far as I know. Alright, can I attack with anything? Is that a oh, is that a rifle? Can I pick that up, please, 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 please? Pictures in here are pretty creepy, but it looks damn cool. I like the artwork. Oh. Oh yeah, occultist stuff, all right. Yep. What the? Oh, Jesus. I guess this is for that old clock downstairs. Oh, okay. That fixed the grandfather clock. Okay. Grandmother's house with a grandfather clock. Family. Happy family. I love his fluffy slippers. I know I said that already, but I'm gonna say it again. And I, and I like the hoodie and PJs combo. Very comfy. Well, that's fixed. And nothing happened. Did I miss something? Did you just see... What's this? Did you just see the legs that were walking up here? Investigate the noise in the attic. There were legs. I could see it. Swear. Did the rifle just shoot? On its own. What's that sound? Did the gun just shoot the frame all by itself? 
What the heck? What is that scratchy sound? Wait, is that midnight, right? Uh, oh, oh, colon, oh, oh. Put that in the clock. Put that in the clock. Gotta put that in the clock. Yeah, let's go. Whoa. Bet this unlocks that desk in the attic. <laughs> Oh, I got a key. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, put that into the non-existing ass pocket. These giggles sound very demonic. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What did it say? Grandma Judith died September 2023, 13. Let me just... Let me just take notes of this. September 13th, 23. Okay, let me just, you know, you never know. Also, where is that bloody giggling coming from? This is terrifying. Oh man. God, these pictures. Oh, oh, oh. All right. He just glitched through the chair onto his seat. Hey, you there? I couldn't sleep after we talked and I didn't- I did some exploring. I got you thinking, huh? What did you find? I don't know, maybe it's a coincidence. It's just weird. What was it? I found a calendar. I had the day my grandmother died circled in red. Oh, it. It had this. <laughs> uh, oh shit! Well, that's creepy. Do you think somebody knew what was going on to happen to her? What's going to happen to her? I don't know. This is all getting a bit overwhelming and weird. Bullshit. You're fucking with me. No joke, I swear. Well, what do you think it means? Do you think maybe she put it there? That she knew when she was going to, you know, die? Quit it. You're creeping me out. There's enough weird shit going on in this house. One of the doors in here is padlocked shut. I guess that the date could be the combination for the lock, but that almost seems too crazy. Well, go. Check it out and tell me what you find. Jeez, you're pushy. Fine. I'll be right back. Which... Is it this one with the padlock? Go to the padlock door. Uh, which one is the padlock door? Not this one. Aww. <laughs> so adorable. <gasps> oh, nice. Um, so what did I write down? Nine. 13? Yup, that works all right. Oh. It There's worked. No way this is real. Okay. This is the day she died. I've got to tell Martha about this. What? What's what's in the room? Okay, it's a kid's room, a toddler's room. It looks like. That's a guy with two girls. Can I do anything? Oh. Am I really sitting here playing with kids' toys? Yep. That's your life now. Rotate the blocks to reveal the message. Aha, uh -huh, so some of them are fixed. 
I guess that says hope. Oh shit, there it was. Hang on. Hope. You. Like. Your. Sorry, sometimes I just turn too much. Uh, new house. Grand son. This is fine. Return to your computer. Doggo is fine. Snoring peacefully. Okay, I saw an old chick behind me. Very creepy, distorted face. All right. Hey, are you there? I got the door open and went in there, and it looked like a baby's room. Like, with a crib and everything. Okay, now I know you're just fucking with me. There's no way she had a baby. I never saw her with one, never heard one, and the only people in and out there were those creepy adults. So then how do you explain what I found? I can't explain it. Why would the room be padlocked? I don't know, no sane person would lock a baby in like that. That's so creepy. I know. And there were these toy blocks. It was just weird. Toy blocks? Like the ones with the letters? Yeah, and they were arranged in a message welcoming me to the house. Okay, that's bullshit. No lie, I'm literally getting chills just thinking about it. Okay, so what's next? I don't know. God damn um, it. What now? Oh, do we have a an outage? Oh, find the breaker box. Okay, breaker boxes are usually in the basement. <laughs> Whoa. Why is her face twisted like that? <laughs> her face is all like somebody, you know, like it's made out of play doh and somebody. The hell trip this? I'm not, I'm not using that much power. Hey. Wait a minute. He, he got just pulled off, like what? off his feet. Shit. Grandma, is that you? Return to your computer and resume your chat with Martha. Okay. Like nothing happened, right? I mean, I just got fo pulled off my feet. S like, pulled over the f <laughs> floor. What now? Oh, was she peeking around the corner? Oh, there she is. Oh my god. Hi, Grandma. Thanks for the house. Very sweet of you. Really appreciate it. Uh, could you stop scaring me like this? Oh, oh my god, she was there! Did you see that? Oh my god. I think I'm going crazy. What? Bish! Man, don't do that. Going upstairs, I have a, I have a chat with Martha. From next door. It's all good. It's all good, chat. I got you. It's all good. No need to freak out. We're all good. Right? We're good. Are you there? My power just went out. Dude, get out of that house. Something isn't right. 
We can come you can come over here in the morning. We can both go and figure out what's going on. Are you kidding? I don't even know you. You could be some 50 year old guy named Chuck posing as a cute girl online. As a matter of fact, I'm done with this. Look, I'm not some old guy and I'm not messing with you. I'm going to get dressed and come over. Give me 10 minutes. Just wait and don't do anything stupid. No, don't do that. I'm already weirded out as it is. Martha? Hello? She coming over? Can I see her? On the road? That was fast. No girl in the world can get dressed and run over the street in five seconds. This, this is not real. This is too unrealistic. Did I just hear some keys? Okay, somebody is definitely fucking with me. Might as well stay busy though. What did I just get? Not like I'm gonna get any sleep now. <laughs> what? What? Make a boo. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Oh god. Is she gone? What the heck? Something is wrong with our head. Something is severely wrong with our head. The hell. Find the music room. Okay, I didn't see any, any other doors down here, so I'm gonna go upstairs again. I think there was one room... Next to the computer? Here, this one. There's paintings everywhere. They're pretty cool though, I have to say. I don't know, like they're of course very dark and eerie, but... Solve the puzzle and play the piano. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, two, twelve. And we have green, red, green, yellow, blue, orange, and purple. All right. Oh wait, one is red, what else do we have? Nothing. <laughs> Super snorry puppy. Jesus, God, I really need a haircut. You need to flush the toilet downstairs. Do we have a painting here in the kids room? Jesus, what? Oh my god. Grandma, for real. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it with the peekaboo. Man, this scared the crap out of me because I was I was looking in this direction and it teleported me here. <laughs> I almost jumped, man. Oh god. Do we have any paintings of I remember one, the one that I admired that was next to the sofa. And it had some purple patch purple patches on it this one ah! could you not do that how is he not out of this house already i would be long gone i'd be fuck this shit i'm out you know Oh, man, the artwork is pretty cool. It's creepy and dark, but it's really well done. Like, who, definitely kudos to the person who made the artwork. So purple is six. Okay. So we're, there were six colors. So we need to find six paintings. We have two so far. Maybe the rest is downstairs? The way how he slowly descends the stairs. 10 is orange. OK. 
Okay. Aha, uh -huh. what's this? Red? No? It's just a picture of a cat. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um ha. Huh. Eleven is blue. Okay. Ooh, really cool. But yeah. Yellow seven. You can hear the puppy. Is there anything else to do? So, I think we have everything, right? We have six numbers now. Where was the music room? Uh, next to the... PC, right? Jesus. Yeah, this house is definitely a mess. Was it this one or was it the baby? No, this is the right one. Okay. So, I guess it's the, the numbers... I guess the colors are giving the order. So, red first and red is one. And then green is three. And then yellow is seven. Blue is 11. Orange is 10. And purple is 6. What's going on? Thunder? Bad weather? I don't know. Okay. I'm not chatting with a chick. Okay, are the 10 minutes over? Is she coming now? I don't know, did I do anything? Did something open somewhere? Maybe? I guess yes. Someone turned on the TV. Oh, the door opened, yes. This door was shut before. Daniel! No! <laughs> okay, this is odd. Still uneasy from the previous night's events, Daniel leaves his grandmother's house and stays with his new friend Martha. In the morning, they take Daniel's car and set off to uncover more information about his mysterious past. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing about this. This... <laughs> and the, the face she made, like... How did she get in? And what was, what was going on there? And why the weird cut? Okay, so are you going to explain what the hell's going on? I, I appreciate being able to crash on your couch last night, but... Look, I... I get that this is all really weird, but there are a few things you need to understand. And I promise that it'll all make sense. Or at least it will if you keep an open mind. Open mind? I'll try my best. Uh, oh, this is like um, Until Dawn and stuff, where they have to make a decision and they zoom on in the face and then you decide. I'll try- oh. I guess I took too long. Open mine! Okay, sorry. My second floor closet door opened a... Well, I don't know, a portal? I was looking at an open field. From my second floor! From my second floor. My mind is about as open as this guy. <laughs> well, I guess the first thing you should know is that... Uh, this is so hard to say. Well, spit it out, then. Okay, okay! Jeez. Look, I knew you Dramatic. were going to move into that house. How? I've, I've 
kind of been waiting for you for a few years now. What? The hell? Were you stalking me? How could you plausibly have known that? Yeah, how? Well, how could you possibly have known that? I wasn't stalking you. I've been trying to keep an eye on you. You know, so that you were safe. I knew you'd be moving in yesterday because, well, I know some things about your grandmother. Your whole family, actually. That's some pretty heavy stuff to lay on someone you just met last night. I know, but just listen. Have you ever wondered why you were adopted? I mean, like, what actually happened to your mom? Or why your dad didn't take you in? Not really. I was told that my mom died during childbirth and there was no other family. That was a lie. You did have a family. You had a brother and a sister. And your mom didn't die during childbirth. She was murdered. And she was pregnant with you when it happened. Okay, that's quite heavy. Holy shit. Are you serious? Who told you this? Oh, holy sh shit. Are you serious? Who told you this? It's not like anyone would have told me if it was true. Even if it is. I'm sure the records would have been buried. How did you find this out? I was adopted too. Huh? After the incident, I was injured pretty bad. A shotgun blast at close range will do that. The doctor said that my amnesia was a result of the trauma, and it took most of my life to recover my memory of what happened. Wait. Are you saying what I think you're saying? About five years ago, I started to remember things and started searching for answers about what happened. That's oh. when I found out you were alive. She's my sister. That you survived too. No fucking way. This is impossible. Daniel, I I know it's a lot, but I'm your sister. No. I I can't believe that. Yeah. The only girl that swipes right for him is his own sister. Sweet home Alabama. Well, it's true. I was there. She looks a bit like Billie Eilish. Okay, okay. I say I choose to believe you. Wow, I always wondered who my family might have been. Say I choose to believe you. Okay. 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 Say I choose to believe you. Why did our dad kill my mother and our brother? Seems like a stretch to think he just went nuts one day. Yeah, it's crazy. Unless you know what good old grandma was up to. Best I can piece it together. She was someone pretty high up in a secret society. And whatever cult she was a part of had her brainwash our father into doing it. That doesn't make any sense. What purpose could she or... They possibly have had to mind control some guy into killing his family. Well, what little I found out about the cult says that they needed a child to be born from extreme trauma. An act of violence that could force its birth so that the child could act as a vessel for... Well, I really don't know. A vessel for something not good. And that child would have to attain maturity before being of use to them. You mean? Yeah, you know what today is. My fucking birthday. Oh, my 18th. Bingo. What 18th? Or like, what, what teenager turning 18th forgets their 18th birthday? So unrealistic. Why do you think you were finally able to move into grandma's house yesterday? The very day before your 18th birthday? Because they planned on doing whatever they intended as soon as you were... of age. So, how did you stay off Grandma's radar? I mean, you live next door. How did she not know? I moved into that house two years ago. By then, I knew there was no way she'd recognize me. You weren't born yet, but the last time she came to visit, I was only a year old. So, when I got the house next to hers, 
I just kept my head down and avoided her as much as I could. While keeping an eye on everything. Oh man, this is what's with the branches? So these now we're going where they are. And why are we going to wherever it is that we're going? I was able to track down where our family was supposedly buried. And well there's something I need to see for myself before I know what to do next. Yeah? What's that? I need to know if our dad is buried there too. Fuck. We're getting close, and I'll get my answers. And yours, real soon. I know this is a lot. Are you okay? No. You look okay? I don't know. I always figured something would happen and my real family would come find me. Uh, trees falling. This. Daniel, look out! Why the panic? It was literally so far off, and you were not going that fast. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. That was way too close. <laughs> well, we aren't far from where we need to go. Looks like there's a trail over there that we can take to where the gravesite is. Alright. Okay. We walk from here. Yeah, it shouldn't be a bad hike. Okay. But you go on ahead. I need to grab my bag from the trunk and handle a little something. I'll join you when I'm done. Uh, what? No, we should stick together. Yes. <laughs> go on, you big baby. Rule number one. I was going to send you on ahead this whole time. I just need to do this one thing really quick. Alone. Fine. Uh, whatever. Just be careful. Call me if you need a hand, I guess. Thanks, but I'll be okay. I promise it won't take long. She probably just needs to pee in the be woods. Worth it. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing, chat. Shit, Martha, a gun? Really? When I first found out about you, I started looking further into the society that Grandma belonged to. I wasn't able to dig up much. Don't shoot. But I did find out about a gathering they were having. I managed to find a place to hide and watch. And during Don't the meeting, aim it like that. Well, I stole this. Please Some don't. Kind of relic for them. Seriously, a relic. It's just a fucking handgun. I know it looks like it's nothing special, <laughs> but the way they were handling it, it was <laughs> like they were touching Excalibur or something. I want you to take it, just to be safe. Just I to be safe, took it bro. To the gun range and tested it. It works just like a normal gun. <laughs> You're joking, right? I've never even held a gun before. Now's just the time. Take it. I'll feel better knowing you've got something to defend yourself in case those nut jobs come looking for you. Now is the time to shine, baby. Daniel makes his way to the cemetery through the forest, leaving Martha behind to set up a surprise for his birthday. So are they really gonna check if the father is also on the graveyard? I mean, imagine you get killed by this guy. Yes, who is part of your family, but then also... What the fuck? Okay, something weird was gall galloping around there. And then imagine... Hello? This guy is killing you and your kids, and then you are buried on the graveyard along with him. Hello? Daniel, is everything okay? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, um... I, I swear, I just saw something huge. No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just freaked out. I get it. It is spooky out here. Yeah. Surprised we haven't run into anybody else. But hey, wasn't I supposed to be the one calling you? I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm sure I'll still get to play the damsel in distress at some point. <laughs> but seriously, call me if anything happens. I will. Oh, and uh, thanks for letting me keep Klopsy at your place while we Klopsy. do all this. I'd rather thought of leaving him in that spook fest of a house. Hmm. I feel so bad moving in there now. Poor little guy. No sweat. As long as he doesn't chew up the furniture, we're all good. Well, no promises on that. He might do that. Oh. 
February 14th. Well, we just set up camp in the ruins of an old house. The tent is pitched, firewood collected, and now there's nothing left to do but kick back and enjoy nature. It's a perfect way to spend Valentine's Day away from the crowds and all the lovey-dovey nonsense of the real world. I can't believe more people don't visit the place more often. It's probably all the ghost stories surrounding the area. But come on, none of that is real. After we grab a bite to eat, I think Saxon and I will... Why does it keep telling me to sprint? Um... Uh, where was I? Uh, uh, uh. After we grab a bite to eat, I think Saxon and I will take a walk and see if we can find a place down by the river where we can go swimming. The water is still too cold for me, but he doesn't mind. After that, it'll be time to start the fire and wind down for the night. I wonder if any of the old legends about the woods are true. What legends? What was this? I don't need to worry about it right now. Okay, guess I'll come back later then. Ooh, gun. We have 12 bullets, 36 max, and 100% health. Nice. I'm a healthy boy. Alright, I'm just running. Just felt like running. Misty Lake or Misty Lake? Uh, I don't know. It didn't we we were supposed to go to the cemetery, right? Yeah, so more of this stuff. Okay, I guess these are like loot boxes. Um and nothing there said cemetery, so I guess we're just on no way. Oh what's the music? Am I being chased? I'm ready. <gasps> oh shit. Oh fuck. Here's not... the fucking birthday cake! Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Ugh. You got a bullet with your name on it right here! <laughs> he's. He's a, a very shouty, angry boy. What the heck? Oh man, this is giving me Silent Hill vibes. I never played the games, but the movies? Yes, I did. Oh man, there's more of these. I'm gonna run out of ammo. What are you? Some spider face dog? Okay, and the sun is coming out. Nice. Okay, let me refill my stuff. Oh, I did already. Okay. This is fine. There's more of them. Great. <laughs> Maybe I took the wrong way. Splat. I like that they literally explode. They literally explode. They don't just fall down and bleed to death. No, they literally just go <laughs> splat. I like that. Graveyard is close by. Ah! Was that some kid crawling on there? What the heck? Daniel, are you okay? I heard gunfire. I'm alive. If that's what you mean by okay. I just got attacked by a weird figure-faced dog monster. A, a fucking what? Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I can't explain it, but there's something else out of here too. It's like, it's like the whole world is descending into freaky mode and we've got front row seat tickets. You're okay, though? Yeah. I didn't give me that gun or I would have been monster chow. I'm glad you're okay. Just stay on the path and try to avoid any more encounters if you can. <laughs> no promises. And you stay safe, too, okay? I don't need to worry about it right oh, now. Oh, I'm full with gun ammo, I guess. All right. Moving on. The woods are quite nice, though, and look pretty. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, it's saving. Why is it saving? Great Pioneer. Dead end. Okay, we're not going to the dead end, that's for sure. Need to worry about it right now. Okay, and this is like health boxes and I am fully healed up, so... Oh crap, that's a lot of them. Alright, hello! Splat! Oh no, oh no. Not today, Satan! Oh gosh, I don't like these little dog thingies. Did he get me? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Shit. I can't see! Oh. Uh. Keep, 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 keep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Have I killed them all? Are we good? Sheesh. Okay, we have the little spider face doggo thing. And we have these fellas. So many of them. Okay, aim for the head. Ed head seems to make more damage. What a bloody mess! Oh, I see you. <laughs> Not a fan. Where are all these mice coming from? Or rats? No mice, right? What the heck? Usually they're running away from threats, right? Like, they're running away if a ship is, for example, sinking. And so you want to run where the rats run or the, the mice run. So what are they running away from? Oh, my ammo thingy is full. So what's coming now? Gosh, okay, they give you a lot of ammo stuff right now. Breadstick. You got this. This is fucking happening. Oh man, it's so foggy over there. I hope they don't crawl up from behind. I really didn't dress right to go on a hike today. <laughs> well, that's so random. I get a break! Oh god, too many. Huh? What happened? They just exploded. And I do didn't do anything. The hell? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm taking- I'm taking the win. <laughs> Alright, but there was one more, right? There was this, uh, big guy with all his arms. Where did he go to? They give you lots of these boxes. I mean, look at this. This could be, like, a boss arena fight thing. I wonder if this is an achievement to look around and like shoot these. I don't know how you call them effigies. I don't know. Oh, I don't like how foggy this is. I can't see crap. I don't need to worry about it right now. Okay, I'm all healthy. It seems. 
So from here on, where do I go? There's lots of skulls around here. Sheesh. So I came from this area. Maybe I have to go uh, towards the light. Is that a paper? No, glove six, okay. February 16th. I get why people don't vacation here. I haven't slept properly from all the weird noises at night. So much for a restful week in nature away from my job and life's responsibilities. Last night this sounds were closer than ever and I when I poked my head out out of the tent to try and scare whoever or whatever it was away and I swear I saw someone wearing a hooded robe and holding a flaming torch dart away. I just about crapped my pa myself. The whole time Saxon was losing his mind barking and growling like I've never heard. The boy may be old, but he's still got that protective spirit. I'm pretty sure whoever it was got the picture to stay away or risk having 70 pounds of angry shepherd gnawing on them behind. One more day and then it's back to reality. I have a feeling this person and their dog didn't make it. Yeah. Do I have to just go back to where I came from? I have a feeling I do. Do I have to go to the dead end? Or what? Um, I wish I had a map. I don't think I have one. All right, where does this lead us? Did you see that? I could swear I just saw some kind of flesh, red flesh. Some big. This is over. I'm gonna sleep for a week. <laughs> Are you supposed to be there? This is creepy, man. Okay, I'm I'm leaving. This is this is just weird. What the actual hell? I thought there's a big ass monster and it's just some kid glitching around in the floor. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be like that, but that was just weird. <laughs> okay, this game is definitely a bit uh different. Yep. Now where the heck am I going right now? Oh, do we have signposts here? Dead end, misty lake, dead end. Okay, so we don't go to the dead ends, right? Because they're just dead ends and I don't want to be dead, so we don't do that. Go this way. I'm just too, I have two empty spots for bullets, but I'm just gonna take all. There seems to be plenty. I see these boxes all over the place, so it doesn't seem to be too urgent. And whatever these things are, they go down quite easily. Oh yeah, I see more. More friends. I don't like how they move like frogs. I hate frogs and toads. <laughs> and then moving like them just freaks me out. Oh god. Are you dying or no, he not. He not dying. He ain't dying.
Oh boy. Many of them. This is fine. I got you, Daniel. I got you. I could really use a shotgun for this. That'd be fun. Just, you know, splat. And they just. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. I don't know if there's. if I should be running around. But I feel like the only thing that you can find are these. And maybe a note. I don't know if these notes are important. I mean, look how many of these loot boxes are here. These ammo boxes. There's another one. I don't need to worry about it right yeah, now. Yeah, we don't need to worry about it right now, guys. Don't need to worry. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. I don't need to worry about okay. it right now. We are absolutely careless. Absolutely careless. Nothing to worry about. Have you guys played this game? Whenever I was asking people if they played it on my Discord, for example, nobody has played it. Some people have seen it, some people have seen some uh, reviews about it, but nobody has ever really played it. Um, so, I was wondering because I was checking it out on how long to beat. That's usually the website where I check out how long it would take me to finish a game. And uh, it just says four and a half hours. Dead end and misty lake. Let's go to misty lake. I don't like the dead end thing. Oh, you, of course. Just die. I swear I'm gonna run out of battle! Bullet with your name on it, right here! He hit me. The bastard hit me. Oh, there's another one. Ugh. Sheesh. And there's the next guy. I like these ones better. I don't... I don't... Oh god, it makes noises although it's dead already. How's that gonna work? I don't know if I should aim for the heads, but the heads are so small. Sheesh. Whoever designed these monsters did a good job though. They're creepy. They are creepy. I feel like whenever I kill them, the fog is lifting. She said stay on the track, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm staying on track. Okay, I'm all ammoed out. Or ammoed up. How would you say that? Hmm. Anyways. Oh, I see healing box. Nice. I have 90% of my health. Not too bad. I mean, apart from the monsters, the forest is quite pretty, isn't it? <laughs> Give me all the things. Okay. He seems to be automatically healing once he... Uh I swear I saw a green light coming from there. So what is this day? Uh, Statue of Sorrows and Misty Lake. I mean... Kind of curious, but... Is that where we we're supposed to go? I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh man, maybe not. Oh dear, I don't like this. I already found the statue. Oh, cutscene. Um, 
It's that kid again. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm going. I'm leaving. Hey, uh, Marty, um... I, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm lost. Are there any landmarks around you? Uh, yeah, I, I just came across this weird, uh, statue. What's a sculpture in the middle of a forest? Oh, yeah, you went the wrong way. Head back to the last split in the trail and go the other way. That should put you back on course. Oh, jeez. That's a long walk. Hey, uh, while I have you on the phone, I have a question. You said you've been keeping an eye on me for a while now. I guess I'm kind of curious how that all happened. I mean, you finally got in touch with me on a dating website, and... Well, wasn't that kind of weird? Did you know I was your brother? <laughs> yeah, I also know that you don't do a whole lot of social media, so it was probably going to be the only way I could approach you without, you know... Walking up to you on the street and really freaking you out. Yeah, that makes sense. It's still kind of weird you were hitting on your brother. Don't you think? Hey, those kids from that old space movie worked it out, didn't they? In fact, didn't the sister end up with that hunky space pirate? <laughs> when this is over, we we are so watching that. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> now get moving, you weirdo. I'm the weirdo? I mean, they're both pretty weird, right? Alright. The storm is back, the fog is back, I guess. I hope this is the right trail. She said go back to the last split in the road and just go the other way. So this is what I did now. And I hope this is the right way now. What's this? Oh no, am I back? No, this is different. Frigid Riverside and Ranger's Lodge. Hey, I just came across a river. I'm not really sure which way to go from here. We're getting closer. Keep the water on your left side and you'll be there in no time. Okay. Nice. Hey, I, Keep I, the water I on your left, continue. Out of the blue, but... How much do you remember about our mommy, Dad? I don't know, I, I guess all this walking got me thinking about stuff. Well, my memory of them is still kind of sketchy. I remember Mom baking the most amazing chocolate chip cookies. Mm. She was always so loving. She took really good care of Michael and me. Michael? That was my brother? Yeah, he was great. Never picked on me or anything. What about Dad? He always seemed distracted. He seemed so happy at first, but then he was kind of a drag. He'd sit in front of the TV for hours when he came home, watching the same shows over and over. Over and over. He wouldn't shower or even change his clothes for days on end. Depression? Then the drinking started. Oh. He never lashed out at us. I he just wasn't the same anymore. I, I'm sorry, Marty. I, I shouldn't have asked. No, it's okay. You deserve to know. They were your parents, too. Thanks, Marty. Must be kind of creepy, but also kind of cool to... finally get some closure about your family. Gee, oh sorry. I must have hit spaceball on accident. Alright. What's this? Yeah, it's a creep. <laughs> Kid again. Pointing this way. Alright, let's go. Oh crap. Misty Lake. Well, I don't know. She said keep the river on my left, but I don't know. Let's go to the Ranger's Lodge. What the fuck? 
Is the kid stuck in the ground again? Oh my, I'm just running. I'm just running, I'm just running, I'm just running, I'm just- oh boy. <laughs> there it was again, the kid. Something is going on with this kid, I swear. What the flying fluff? I keep seeing it here in the woods. I wonder if that is Michael, my brother? Nope, we're just running. Nope! Oh god, hello! I hate these small ones. Crap. Oh god. Oh, I hate the small ones, man. <laughs> the panic and then the aim goes really potato, you know? What the hell's this? Sounds like a tree crashing or something. What the? As long as it's not crashing on my head. What? Piss off, kid. <laughs> oh god, what the heck, man? Oh, they're giving me ammo. Oh yeah, there come friends. Friends incoming, friends incoming. To die, asshole. No, don't don't hit me. Ugh. Oh man. These small ones, they really freak me out. These ones. Exactly these ones. Ugh. They move just so weird, you know? And they're so fast. Okay, let's refill all the gun ammo and then let's continue. I've been hit a few times, so let's heal as well. What the heck? What the what? What now? Do you see weird kids hanging in the trees again? Or, or what? I wish you could carry more than 36 bullets, honestly. That's just- this just not enough, mate. Never enough, never, never. Oh, Jesus. Nope. Nope. Ignoring the kids. Nope. 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 What now? This reminds me that I really have to play Blair Witch Project. Or Blair Witch? Is it just called Blair Witch? I've played it once on a stream, um, but I never finished it. I think there was just, I don't know, 30 minutes left of the game or so, but I had to end the stream. And <laughs> then I never finished it. So it's just sitting there, unfinished. Yeah, by now I would have to restart the whole game. I don't remember shit anymore. Oh man. Oh. 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 She, that looked painful, mate. Ow. But I kind of like that when they do that in horror movies. When the actors are like, you know, and it looks like they're breaking every bone in their bloody body and stuff. It's, and then they make these crunchy sounds. I really like horror. <laughs> but. What the fuck? I'm just running. I don't know if I'm on the right track, but I'm just running. I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about thing. I don't know. I have. <laughs> I'm just short one bullet, but I'm just gonna take it anyways. They have a whole arsenal of all kinds of bullets in there. And what's this? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay, it's cool that you can stagger them. 
the headshot. Oh, he angry. I can't aim. What the heck? I can't aim! He, he doesn't... Uh... Uh... Can I... What's going on here? I can't aim anymore! Uh... Um... What to do now? Can I just... Maybe... Ow! Uh, that hurt. Oh, I can aim again. Nice. That really hurt, you know? Oh, God. oh. Out of ammo. Refill. Ooh. Camera going all wonky. <laughs> He's really angry. Where'd you go? How many bullets to the bloody face does it take to get you down? Maybe I need to hit the whatever they are, boils. Nerd, run. I need bullets. I'm all out. Could you, could you please wait? I don't want to die. Come on. Me, I, I need to heal. Oh god, I'm almost dead. says zero heart and zero ammo. That's so weird. Did I die? Daniel barely survives the horrors of the forest and emerges at the Waukesha Forest Cemetery. Concerned for Martha's safety, he picks up his phone and calls her. Okay. Weird. Stretch. Martha, how much longer are you gonna keep me waiting in this stump? Just a sec. Look, I really appreciate that you're going through all this trouble for my birthday, but I'm seriously bored just standing around out here. Relax, it's almost ready. I swear that you've got me out here just to pull a dumb prank. Dude, chill out, man. Just call me when you find the graveyard. Okay, I'll keep looking around. Okay, new area. Look around to find the family gravestone. Uh, seems to be some gravestones over here. What's this? Some beautiful tree thingy? Do I need to refill my stuff? Uh, we don't need to worry about that right now. Gotcha. We are back to being no worry, Daniel. Uh, great. There's a graveyard and right next to it is a playground. Lovely. <laughs> um, okay. 
What's this? Here? I found the graveyard, but it's fenced in and I haven't figured out how to get in there yet. It's all good. But hey, look up. I have a surprise for you. Fireworks? Wow, Martha, I... I don't... I, I don't Thanks. know what to say. That's really something. Thank you. I really mean it. Easy on the mushy stuff, little man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was a real bitch to put together. By the way, you remember why we're really here, right? To watch fireworks in a creepy forest on my birthday? Ooh, you've got jokes, huh? I'm here to look for the family gravestone, I remember. Okay, well, while I make my way back to you, see if you can find a way into the graveyard. Yes, ma'am, will do. By the way, thanks again, Marty. I really love the fireworks. It means a lot. And he... Might be something useful in there. If I can find the keys to get in. Son of a bitch. Of course it's locked. Okay. Well, check the other vehicle. This one? Okay. Well, this sucks. I gotta figure out some way to open this. How about we take a stone and smash the windows? Oh, we look around like for the keys, like non criminals. I don't know. Uh, okay, that's odd. Oh, wow, I fit through you. Cool. Or not? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, nice. Ooh. I gotta figure out some way to open this. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk melting my face off. Maybe there's a way to turn this off? So we need some kind of valve thing? Lever, crank, wheel, I don't know what they're called. Looks like this thing looks like it's um, a chimney, but it's also like a grave. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> um. So how do I? Open. Hmm. How do we open the cars? The keys? What does it say? Search the area for clues on how to get in the vehicles. Okay. Ah. Okay. So, uh, what exactly? I don't need to worry about it right now. Okay, we don't need to worry. It's fine. It's just like... A weird world with mutants running around, attacking you, trying to eat your face, but... Don't worry. I love how all of this shit happened. I don't need to worry about it right and now. it and then she is giving him some firework shit you know like if I'd be her <laughs> I would do that <laughs> hey I mean you almost died just then but you know don't worry it's gonna be fine do I have to do anything with this I'm not sure I know what the game wants me to do here. I 
I need to go in here, right? I don't need to worry about it right now. Oh, mate, you never need to worry about anything, do you? Squeeze through here? Nope. Too chunky for that. Nothing here either. Can I go through here? Nope. <laughs> nope, that's definitely too narrow and too high for this young teenager to hop over or squeeze through. Obviously. Son of a bitch. Of course it's locked. Man, I don't know where I gotta go. Anything? I don't need to worry about it right now. Okay. Well, this sucks. I'll figure out some way to open this. Oh, what's this? Emmett, since you can't be bothered to show up to work on time, I clock out and went home. The car keys are hidden in the usual spot. Since I know you never pay attention, the usual spot means they're behind one of the cross-shaped tombstones. I'm pretty sure even you can figure that out. Wonderful. Cross-shaped. Treasure hunt that may be a complete waste of time. One of the tombstones. Okay, find the cross-shaped tombstone. So there are some tombstones over there that had some, like, cross on top of them. Like these? Was that here before? This? I can't remember. <gasps> Look over here. This is the right key. I said I never made it in for a shift. What was that Shit. sound? That sounds like more of those things. I should hurry. No, I want to shoot them. Go back and unlock the vehicles? How about we shoot things first? <laughs> I like shooting things. Oh, maybe not. All right, I got you. But I also want to go here. Okay. Don't see anything here. So, so far, no monsters. Knock on wood. So, is that one key for two cars? For real? Nice. Can we take that and drive away? That'd be nice. There's some extra bullets in here, so that's a win. Nice. <laughs> he's he's a tired boy. I wonder if they mean to tell you something with this. Is he just sleeping? Is this just a dream? This is not real. Maybe sleepwalking. Maybe he has like, uh, not nothing like sleep paralysis, but like this half awake, half sleep asleep state where he's running around, but. Um, also asleep and he, his mind, his subconscious is projecting things into the area. Oh, there's only one lever here. Oh man, I really don't want to have to hunt through the trash. Oh, hunting through the trash? Alrighty. Look in the trash cans to find the remaining lever parts. Alright. I don't need to worry about it right now. Heh. It literally said I'm supposed to run and look through the trash cans. Okay, there you go. Looks a little beat up, but it should still work. Uh, look around for the missing valve handle. Alright. Ready or not, valve handle, here I come. Oh, can't go this way, crap. So where would that be? If I would be a valve handle, where would I be? I have a really fucking bad feeling about this. Yeah, why? Oh! What now? E what the 
fuck? What the? Try to survive. Okay. Is there more? I guess there's more. Oh yeah, there's more. Oh hell yeah. Splat. Oh, there's another one. Lovely. Splat. I wonder if this has anything to do with anything, really. Are there more of these things? Where would I find the valve handle now? I don't see more, any more monsters. Although I think I hear one. Oh yeah, there it is. Hello? You're stuck? What? I'm scared that I'm gonna... Um, use up all of the ammo that I get. Man. This place is standing out so much. I don't know if there's anything here. Wait a minute, have I been... Or did I get the valve already? No, I did not. Did I? I just got the levers, I think. No monster here. Am I done looking through the trash? I guess I am. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk melting okay, my face Okay, we still off. need the valve. Maybe there's a way to turn this off? There must be, but where will it be? Okay. Didn't get hit. That's at least something. Usually the, these valves are red, right? And I think the the thing where you plug it into was also red. So I guess we're looking for something red. I don't know if that thing will stand out so it's easily noticeable, but we shall see. Oh shit. You. What the heck? Oh, it's saved. Nice. <laughs> oh man. That was fucking insane. What the fuck is going on around here? Investigate the playground. All right. It's so random, right? Like, sometimes you get a key and then it says go to the music room and now it says just randomly go investigate the playground. I've been in the playground already. And I knew there was something going on with that playground because it's standing out so weirdly. But, you know. What's here? Nice. Valve obtained. Nice. This might come in handy. <laughs> what do you mean it might come in handy? And where did you put that thing? It will come in handy. I mean, we've been looking for that thing specifically. 
Some game characters, man. Some game characters. I have to say they've been advertising the facial expressions with like modern technology and I don't really see it. <laughs> Sorry. Hell yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. Solve the lever puzzle to unlock the path to the family gravestone. No, no. I, I don't I don't know what's going on. I wanted to put this here. No, this needs to be down, right? Down. This needs to be up. Um. It is. I don't know what I did. I was just messing around, but we did it, so I'm out of here. <laughs> I ain't complaining about this. Let's go. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Oh. Like his mouth right now. What? Was that a kid holding its own head in a hospital gown? Was I tripping this or was that really happening? The hell? Oh! Well, How did she get here? There it is. Heh. I guess you've got your answer. What the fuck? Taken from us too soon. No mention of good old axe murder and dad. It was a shotgun, not an axe. I remember what it felt like when the buck shot. Shit, I'm sorry, Marty. It, it, it's a stupid joke. It's okay. At least we found it. We should pay our respects and get back to the car before some stupid cop finds it and gets in tow. And now we know where to go next. You do? Yeah. There's a police station not far from here. I'm pretty sure it's the one that responded to the call the day Dad went crazy. They'll probably have something laying around that'll help us figure out what happened to him. I guess that's as good a lead as any. Daniel and Martha travel to the nearby Aspen Falls Police Department to look for answers about their father. They believe he holds the key to stopping their grandmother. Stopping their grandmother? She's dead. What? Isn't she dead? Central Precinct Police. Stay close. Don't need you wandering off and getting killed. All right. Hey, okay. Jeez, you can be bossy. Shit, it's an electric lock. Guess we gotta get power up and running before we do anything else. I wonder what happened here. Whatever it is, it can't be good. You said it, buddy. This place gives me the willies. It looks deserted. Let's check around and see if there's another way in. She going that way? How about this? I mean, we need a bolt cutter, maybe. Are there no monsters here? And she is lucky. Whenever she's around, there's nothing. I should tell her not to leave me all the time. Have you found anything? Great. I thought there'd be a door here. Maybe the gate is open? Yeah, maybe well, the gate. I'm trying. Damn it. I don't know what to do next, but we've got to find a way in. All right. Find a way around the back of the building. Well, I've already been there, but she has been looking around somewhere else. What's this? 
On the evening of August 24, 2023, the witness saw what they describe as a ritualistic sacrifice take place in Waukesha Forest National Park. There were allegedly nine individuals dressed in hooded robes who proceeded to sacrifice a young woman at the base of the location known as the Devil's Tree. The individuals were then engaged in some sort of group chant. The witness stated that they could not t make out much of what was said, but they did hear the phrase, the vessel shall be taken by force, repeated multiple times. The witness came forward because they believed the victim, maybe the young woman who went missing earlier in the year in the same part of the forest. The witness described the victim as a female, possibly mid to late 20s, but no other features could be made out. Huh, okay. Do you think that's the the person whose notes we found? With Saxon the doggo? Ooh, what the heck? Jesus! <laughs> Is she not reacting to that at all? You. Martha, check this out. Can I shoot nice it? Find. Maybe we can get power back up from that shed over there. Shoot the padlock. Oh, nice. <laughs> Brute force. That's loud. <laughs> this is my new key to anywhere. <laughs> wow. This looks like a generator. No power. Oh. Wait there. I'll go siphon some gas from the cars out front. Just be careful, okay? The fact that nobody's come to arrest us for breaking and entering a police station is she? isn't sitting so well with me right Hello, now. Hello, Marty. I'll be fine. Besides, I have this. <laughs> Wonderful. Maybe you can shoot someone and then we'll get properly arrested. Good idea. Siphon gas from the cars out front to refuel the generator. Okay, do you think there will be enemies out front to refuel? So I guess I have to go this way, huh? She was talking to me from there. Lady, you got stuck or something? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just pushed it to the side like that. Ooh. Surprise, surprise! No gas. And that's our car, what right? Fuck, this is ridiculous! Is it me, or does he have some, like, like, problems with his nerves? Also, why is the camera like this? Am I, s am I to expect some nasty attacks from behind? I don't like this camera angle at all. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out here. I don't like this at all. Also, this place is filled with these, these things. Um, these ammo loot crates. And I have a feeling there will be a fight here soon. Probably when I'm done siphoning or whatnot. I think now I have four. Four to four? Yep. Oh, cutscene. Uh oh. <laughs> what is it? Okay, shoot, shoot, shoot. What's that? That's what you get for being ugly. Of course. Did he say that's what you get for being ugly? He did not say that. He did not just say that. That's what you get for being ugly? Wow. The animal. Shit. Ow. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, that one's dead. I think there was another one, right? I'm just running. Shit, there's another one. Hang on, I need to refill. What birthday cake?
Oh, I killed him. Sweet. I find, find it very disturbing that monsters still make sounds once they're dead. Yeah, so uh, you come with me. I need more ammo though, like that was... We don't need to worry about that right now. <laughs> Can I please worry when I want to worry about ammo? It's never a bad idea to always have ammo on you. Game, come on. Sheesh. What the hell was all that shooting? Some freaky monster? I don't know, I had some freaky monster? I, uh, it was really big and really pissed off. Just one? J just a couple of them. By the way, he sounds a bit like Peter Parker from Spider-Man. Yeah. Stick around to see if more showed up. He's a Don't psycho sass man. Me. We'd better hurry. That gunfire might attract others. True. He's going from losing his shit and screaming and yelling at her to I don't know, but I was not going to stand and find out. You know, it's like <laughs> Enter police building through front doors. Alright. Hell, man. Yeah, he freaks me out. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we, we are the psycho killer. I mean, we're not flushing the toilet, so... In my book, he's he's a psycho killer. Is that the front door? Yes. Nice. They're so weird, man. <laughs> Whoever wrote this, like, what the heck? <laughs> Police, okay. It looks deserted. Damn. Find the records room. Hello? Is this the records room? How was this? I got some keys. Cool. I couldn't read what it was. Was that? I don't need to worry about it right now. Oh, did I get the key for this? Nice. Sweet. I don't need to worry about it right now. You always need to worry about ammo. You don't worry about that right now. Okay, we don't need to worry about that right now. Uh huh, but I do need to worry about this. Good. Now, this looks. This seems to be the bathroom, and there's a massive blood puddle. Oh god, what's this? Key- oh my god, I clicked too fast. I got some keys, I don't know which- <laughs> Where they are going to, what? Lots of ammo just lying on the floor, what the heck? I don't need to worry about it right now. But I'm taking it anyways. Because why not? There's some lady crying, what the heck? Can I open this? Yeah, sweet. Now what's this? Kitchen? Local sheriff takes down child trafficking group linked to secret society. September 28th, 2003, a notorious child trafficking group rumored to be an offshoot of the Society of Unified Silence, a secretive organization that has its roots in the nearby town of Aspen Falls, that's where we are from, has been stopped by Petoski police detective Vincent G. During the raid, which took place on the evening of September 15th, Detective G discovered a bunker located beneath the farmhouse that housed a group of captive children. One of those children was Melody Jane Simmons, whose disappearance had made headlines only a week before the raid when she was abducted from a family day trip to Waukesha Forest. Detective G is set to receive a special accommodation from the Aspen Falls Town Council for Excellence in service tomorrow night. 
When asked about the rumors involving the Society of Unified Silence, Detective G had this to say, I won't discuss any rumors without having hard facts in hand, but it seems very likely to me that if this group of traffickers had one hidden bunker, then there are probability others that we have yet to uncover. That's the right spirit. Look around thoroughly. Oh, I can push this? Nice. Push, push, push. Now open this. I said open this. Okay, let's go this way. Sounds good to me. Which way? Um... Um, Martha, there's a dead police guy on the floor. Are you not gonna comment on that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, she's um. Uh, she's some character. How do you know exactly where to go, lady? How? How? What's wrong? Locked. Find the jail key. Damn it! So what now? Well. We'll have to look around for a key. Records room key. The chief's office? And jail Seems key. like a likely place to find that. Sounds like a plan to me. What's in here? Find a way into the chief's office. What's that knocking? <laughs> What's wrong? Why is she cowering like this? I don't need to worry about it right now. She's terrified, but I don't see anything here. I don't need to worry about it right now. Okay, okay. Okay, lady, you can stop being terrified. It's fine, I got you. Usually people would be scared when they... There's nothing, ma'am. There's nothing. You don't need to be scared. Oh, okay, there is something. Ugh. Splat. Look around the conference room. Conference room? Conference room? What's this locker room here? <sighs> okay, I'm all full health, some good. But if we remember in the locker room, there is a health thing, Emo Bobs. What's this? Oh, shooting range. Nice. Can I shoot things? Why there's some in this color? Wait. Nine, and then this shape. Let me... It's gotta be coming in handy. So... Maybe it's the green ones? No. But this one I couldn't act with, right? This one? Eight. Okay, circle and an X. An A with two crosses is seven. I don't know, I haven't seen the puzzle for it yet, but we're gonna write it down anyways, right? Ah, uh, there, a seven. Another seven. Wait. Which one was it? This one? Yeah. There you can see over there it's eight, seven, nine, seven. All right. Well. 
I bet we'll need it someday, right? Is there more? Oh, what was that? I'll oh, just ammo, okay. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Okay. Oh! Oh! These are the signs! Here! There. Uh, I guess I'm not supposed to type in there yet. So we'll just do that later, I guess. The game is full of these. Uh, we're gonna do that later. We're gonna do that later. Look around the conference room. Where, where's the conference room? Is it down this way? This is the investigation room, right? Well, like how they're called interrogation, sorry. Interrogation room. Where is the conference room, though? I haven't seen that, I think, yet. Oh, this is going down to the jail. Uh, bathrooms. This is going to the entrance area. This, maybe? Lots of chairs? Yeah, oh, she's already there. Alright. To protect and to serve. That reminds me of good old Robocop again. I guess it's like in school, right? Trade one of ours for one of theirs for a month or so. Seems like a good way to experience other cultures and uh, styles of law enforcement. International Learning and Development Exchange Program, United States and Poland. Welcomed on board, Lieutenant Mateusz Komorowski. Clear the entrance to the chief's office. Okay, where was that? Oh man, rip guy. I don't need to worry about it right now. Yeah, we never need to worry about anything right now. Oh cool, can we push or pull this? Sweet. Major Crimes Division. Harvey L. Ward, special out. agent Not in charge. Not necessarily. What do you mean? Shoot the lock. The door oh. looks pretty flimsy. It'll pop right open. All right. I love how he was like aiming like this. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. Is the cigarette still smoking? <gasps> so somebody was just here? What the heck? Holy shit, Martha, look at this. It's dated almost 18 years ago to the day. Looks like the chief earned his spot at the top of the local law enforcement food chain. You don't think maybe this has something to do with us? Well, the dates sure do line up. Let's keep looking for that key. Sorry, I'm looking at the hands. And the fingers don't make sense. It looks like some AI created this and they didn't get the fingers right, you know? It looks weird. It looks like you're supposed to do this. But the fingers are just odd. Or maybe I'm just like, my uh, my angle is wrong or something. So sh she said something about the date, right? September 28th, 2003. So 9, 28, 03? 09, 28, 03? I don't know. Is it 6 or 4? Find the combination and lock the save. So it seems to be 4, right? There's those 4 arrows on the f on the top of it. Right, left, right, left, so, um, four. That would be nine, twenty-eight, three? Nine, two, eight, three. Fuck. These are the keys that we Let's see where these keys lead us, okay? 
We can't quit until we've got what we came for. What keys are they? Don't stress out, okay? Chill out. Don't stress. Don't stress out, okay? As long as we stick together, we've got this. Yes. I know. Let's... Let's just get what we came for and get out of here as fast as we can. Yes, yes. This place is seriously creeping me out. Good plan. Good plan. Nice I'm with you. Useful in here. Well, it's not a lever, but this should still be useful. Quick shot upgrade. <laughs> what the fuck do you want from me? Daniel, make sure he's okay. Huh? Who would be seeing things like this and then be like, oh yeah. Also, how? why did she run off? Jail. Alright. Find the jail. We already found the jail, right? Oh, we're friends. Nice. He's after me. He's after me, all right. Oh, there's multiple. Oh boy. I don't like this. Hello. Right, Daniel. You got this. Oh, he's coming. Oh boy. Ew. Jesus. What a bloody mess. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't need to worry about it right now. Right now. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. So, um, she went this way and then was it this way down to the stairs to the jail? Was it here? No. Oh my god. This place is confusing. This way looks promising. Yeah, good. Is this the jail? Yeah, nice. All right. Hello? Find the lever. Okay, anything up? <laughs> Shit, what the heck was that sound? Do you think my sister's okay? Oh, hello. Sheesh, mate. I don't like how fast they sometimes can be. Ew, man, the sounds are pretty good, though, I have to say. Oh, hello. This thing's gonna run out of ammo! Holy crap. And another one. Okay, this is still closed. Are you gonna die or... Okay. Wait, there's... Oh, there's another one coming? Holy moly. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. I think he walked back up again. Oh shit, hello. And another one. Holy moly. The entire precinct is full of these. Just die. Just die. Just die. Splat. Are they all gone? Please. Where is my bloody sister? Seriously, though. She was... She was here and she saw things, right? And then she was like, I should look for my brother. <laughs> See if he's okay. And now she's just gone. Poof. Poof. Big butter poof. I don't need to worry about it right now. Oh, wow. Hardly ever getting hit. That's cool. So, what's my objective? Sorry. Uh, find the lever. The lever. 
Where haven't I been? Haven't I been everywhere, pretty much? Here? Maybe now I can open this? Yeah! Cool! So, wait, um, we had... Wait, the... This was seven. Nine, eight, and seven. Yeah, I don't need to worry about make opening that jail Of course, more friends. More friends. I don't know if I need to aim for the head, but I have a feeling it does a bit more damage, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> oh god, I don't like you. Are you kicking me? I mean, what else are you gonna do? You have no arms, but still. That fucker was kicking me. What? Yeah, all these video games. Coming in handy. <laughs> yeah, I hope that if I ever be in a situation that the knowledge that I gathered from playing video games will also come in handy. Hello? I think I bugged him out because I rolled just past him. Ugh. Sorry for for making weird noises. Wait, what did I just get? The lever. So now with the lever I need to go back to the jail and put it into this weird location. Oh no, they're back. Oh man. Why would you do that? Don't do that. Why don't you just fucking die? Yeah. Why don't you just fucking die? Really though. Hear more creepy sounds. Oh, that's her. <sighs> Woman. What was that noise? Oh, nothing. Really? Just nothing. Yeah, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Creepy stuff. See, Daniel. Even in the jail, they don't leave the turds. Don't need to worry about it right now. The turds in the toilet. All right. What's this? Records room. Nice. Sweet I don't need to worry about it right now. Okay. It's just ammo, right? Okay. False cake. False cake. Okay. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Is that a reference to a uh, portal? The cake is a lie. Maybe it's a cipher. Huh? You know, like a code. Seems pretty simple. Let's look around. Password. False cake is the password and it it was the capital one. The small one was locked, um, how do you say that, crossed out? So capital... Faults... Cake... Enter? The heck are Master Liz? What? Ooh, did we get some info? To me. Look here, at the bottom. Mother rushed to hospital and pronounced DOA. Doctors performed emergency C-section and retrieved unborn child who was given into grandmother's care once doctors released him. That's you. I'm here too. 
Eldest son deceased. Daughter in critical condition from single gunshot wound to the torso. Do you see anything about, you know, him? Looks like Dad went missing immediately after committing the murders. Says responding officers failed to locate him. There was an open investigation for a while. Oh, this is interesting. Could be a lead. Detectives searched the family's home located in the outskirts of Aspen Falls, but found the house abandoned with no sign of the suspect. Isn't that close to here? Yeah. Does it list an address? Yeah. 1138 threw away. Aspen Falls. That's... That's our house. It's where we should check our next, house. but I never thought I'd end up back there. Ever. Okay, the big chunky guy came back. Oh boy. Eat shit and die! Did you say eat shit and die? Oh crap. Hang on a second, please, sir. Roll, 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 roll. happening here seems like nobody's safe from whatever's going on oh we leaving in a police car <laughs> my aim is fucked oh i think we just rushed through the gate just then <laughs> the pair narrowly escape the corruption at the police station and make their way toward Aspen Falls in a stolen police cruiser. On the outskirts of town, they hear an explosive pop from under the hood, followed by a large cloud of steam, and their vehicle comes to a stop. Of course, because things can never be easy. Damn. Hole in the radiator. Probably from when we smashed through the gate. I mean, she got us this far. 20 more minutes and we would have been there. Well. Explore the town and find a working vehicle. She's just standing there. Do something. All right, guys. I think this is where I'm going to end it for today. I recorded a bit over two hours. The game is quite weird. I'm not going to lie. The story is not making too much sense. They're weird. It's it's hard to explain. And I guess you know what I mean, but it's just leaving things out and they're just odd and the communication between them is weird and yeah, the facial expressions are odd sometimes. It just feels a bit off this game, but it's not too bad and I think I'm just going to continue, but not today. It's pretty late already. I hope you guys enjoy this, although it's not like the creepiest game or the most interesting one maybe, but it's like just fun because it's so odd, you know? There are some games and some movies and stuff that are just like, they're just so weird that it's fun already, so... <laughs> I don't know, maybe you feel the same way. But I would kind of like to know what happens. I would like to know the mystery because in the game description it said that not everybody is who they seem to be. So are they talking about her? Are they talking about Daniel? Who knows? We will find out in the next one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here for it. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I hope I see you for the next one. <laughs> Bye.